everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, I wanted to talk something a little bit different. Um, something that I find that's really important but I don't think a lot of um, fellow film photographers slash enthusiasts um, get excited about and it has something to do with filing and archiving negatives and that also includes um, um, keeping instant prints. Now filing and archiving my negatives, um, believe it or not, is fairly new to me, maybe around two or three years ago. Uh, when I started shooting um, film again, maybe around 2005, um, I pretty much just leave all my negatives in um, boxes um, when where they come in um, or those temporary um, plastic sleeves that are cut into fours and I've never even bothered um, filing them however um, two years ago when it was decided that I will be moving to Toronto um, I thought obviously that it's gonna be a nightmare um, to ship um, all of my negatives if they're not filed properly so I took this Herculean task of um, sorting them out and putting them um, in binders so it's easier to find them if I need to go over back um, to see some of my older negatives or if there's a need for me to rescan some of them. So what I wanted to show to you guys today would be not the whole binders that I have but um, just a glimpse of what tools that I use um, to do my filing and how I do it. So I'm going to start maybe with the Instax prints because these are more straightforward. Um, as if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a big, big fan of um in Saks mini prints in particular so what how I do to maintain them and archive them is um, I buy um, a bunch of albums like these um, if you have like a local um, camera store they would probably carry um, this album or something similar um, the one that I'm um, particular of would be the one that comes in a 64 print album just because it can take a lot of um, my prints I think I probably have around a dozen of these um, from photo shots um, photos shot back in 2008 um, onwards up to present so this is the one that I currently have which reminds me I need to get a few more of these um, because I'm running out of space so that's pretty much what I have um, for insects wide which I don't shoot that often um, but I do have um, albums similar similar to that with in with Polaroid prints or impossible um, in um, instant prints I just put them in a nice box you know if you see those foot um print boxes that you can buy either at dollar store or a craft store or a bookstore sometimes they have it um, or office supply store so those are the ones that I that I use um, fortunately I don't have a lot of um, Polaroid prints so it doesn't really take a lot of space but with the Instax ones um, I prefer using albums like these now for um filing negative so first of first off um, when we file negatives we try our best to um, like say after we scan our negatives whether they're 35 or 120 that we file them right away uh, we encountered um, a very busy month so we have a couple of um, or not a couple like a dozen negatives in a clear plastic container just to avoid um, dust from contaminating it and hopefully I can file these really shortly just because we're going on a trip soon and that means there will be more stuff to file so um, I don't want to get a bunch of um, backlog on that one so that's that um, but normally um, we skip this part at least for myself and what we do is we get print files which are archival preserved so this is something that we just recently bought um, the 120s uh, just because um, 
I actually ran out of my hundreds. I normally buy um, the one that comes in a hundred in a pack. However, um, we ran out of that, so my husband had to get um, two sets of 25. So anyway, regardless of what format would it be, um, the way I file is that um, I have three ring binders similar to this. And the way I organize them is I have a binder for each format and then each type of film. So basically I have two binders for E6. So one is for 35 and another is for 120. And I have another two sets of binders for 120 black and white and 120 or 120 black and white and 35 black and white and so on and so forth. The most number of binders I have just because of the amount of stuff that I shoot would be 35C41. I think I probably have three binders of those and there's no nothing um, really special about my process. I know there are some photographers who buy really expensive binders um, but for myself what I do is I get my negative, um, I put down which camera I use as well as the film and then what is it for and this one I actually forgot when I shot it or when at least the month and the year that I shot it so something similar to this um, and then I start filing. Um, in Although you can see that I'm kind of like all over the place in terms of um, the size of my print file. I'm not very particular to be perfectly honest. Um, I actually use two sizes. So if I'm shooting um, 36 and then when I end up filing them, I use this size. If I am actually shooting 24 exposures, um, I use something similar to this one and the reason being is that I know it, um, print file makes the four like the frame of four but it's actually really hard to come by here in Canada unless I have to order it online so I usually just use um, this size for my 24 exposures and then um, I use this one and then I kind of have like some other sizes as well I think I have something like this too um, but that should be able to fit um, a 36 frame no problem so that's pretty much what I do so once I'm done I just file them in their respective um, binders and then I put them away and uh, where I store my binders is actually um, a plastic bin um, and then I put it in our storage um, here in our unit. Anyway so that's how I file um, all of my negatives as well as my Instax prints. I want to hear from the comments to see how you guys manage your own filing and organizing. I'll be more than happy to um, maybe pick up a couple of tricks um, that you guys can offer. But anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!